Well, ordinarily when we start this story, we jump right into an interview. But before we do that today, I want you to take a look around. We are at Fuzzy Fawn Wildlife. Fuzzy is here with us. You've been that, that's been your name your whole life. Whole life, day I was born. All of the fawns that we just saw, all of those pictures, they have lost their moms in one way or another or something has happened to them. Right, uh, half lost their moms, the others are um, tractors, farmer's equipment, dogs, foxes, coyote attacks, um, just stuck in bad situations. And that is where you come in yes. to help them. And I think it's really interesting, you've been showing us around and these are the fawns that we see here or are over here, there's yes. a lot of them are sort of hiding, yes. which is a good thing Yes. that you take care of them, but they're... We want them wild. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me how that process works. It, well, just because it's just me who um, handles them. I have a friend who helps me with the side stuff, but I'm the only one who handles them. The more people you have interacting with them, they're gonna come habituated to humans. So um, all the emergency care, bottle feedings, that's all me, just to make sure they only come to me and no one else. They're here to be cared for, but then the ultimate goal is that they're going to go they're back. They're gonna go back to nature in September, hopefully. Some will be wintered over because they're too small, but yeah, the goal is to get them back out there. And it's really interesting because they form bonds and yes. they create their own little herd here. Yes, there's groups of fours or fives. They form their little herds and I try to keep them together when I release them so they stick together. And they do, they usually do. One of the things that has gotten a lot of attention for you is your Instagram account. You have thousands and thousands of people yes. who are following you. And a big portion of that is teaching people about what they need to know right. about, about fawns. Because right. sometimes people will see them and you've been getting phone call after phone yeah. call after phone call um, and they're worried about them and they right. want to help them. What are some of the main things that we need to know? The main thing, if you see that little baby curled up in a cute little ball, quiet, content, that's a healthy fawn. The mother will literally leave it the whole day, come back late evening, usually after dark, to nurse it, and then she'll leave it again. And this goes on for the, the first week to two weeks until the baby's strong enough to travel with her. And if the mother doesn't come back, it's usually because she was hit by a car. They don't abandon their babies like people assume they do. So if the baby doesn't nurse at night, in the morning, it's gonna be up running around crying and then call us immediately and we'll check it out and we'll make sure too that it does need help before we take it. You clearly have such a big heart. Thank you. Um, what keeps you going with, with doing this? Oh my gosh, those little faces. <laughs> um, I, and and I, I mentioned before, you know, some of the ones that are in the barn, I didn't know they were gonna make it through the night. Yeah. So to know two weeks later, they're stronger and they're still going, it's, that's what's, you know, when, when they come in and they are just lifeless, I, there's just something in you. You just go full force to try and save that life. So, it, yeah, and caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> and we should mention too, this is something that you have a, a license to do. And yes. you also partner um, with the DEC a yes. great deal with yes. this as well. Yes, I'm licensed by New York State. Um, I work great with the DEC, all local law enforcements. Um, they're really good at calling before touching a deer of any age and uh, and then we assess them together what they see what they tell me and then we go from there this little this kind of contact is yeah when, okay when only like a week old i'm not Hi. worried about them being habituated to anybody it's uh the older as they progress and, yeah. and go through all their cycles of what they have to do that's when i have to oh, oh oh my goodness thanks everybody for watching most buffalo i'm kate Wellshofer. be well stay well we'll see you next time